Ever wondered how 3D printing works? Curious about the magic behind this technology? Let's dive right into it. Imagine having the power to design and create tangible three-dimensional objects right from your desktop. That's essentially what 3D printing is all about. It's a technology that constructs solid objects from a digital file, layer by layer, much like building a house brick by brick, and yes, it's as cool as it sounds. 3D printing or additive manufacturing as it's often called, has been a buzzword in the tech world for quite some time now. Its potential is vast, and its applications are wide-ranging, from producing intricate jewelry designs, to crafting aerospace components, and even biomedical devices. The world of 3D printing is a fascinating one filled with limitless possibilities and innovations. So, are you ready to explore this groundbreaking technology and its potential impact on our future? Stick around as we delve into the fascinating world of 3D printing. So, how does this technological wizardry work? Well, it all begins with a concept, an idea, a design. This design is then translated into a digital 3D model using design software. Picture a virtual blueprint, a map for the printer to follow. This digital design is the first crucial step in the 3D printing process. Once the design is finalized, it's time for the 3D printer to take over. The printer reads the digital file, interpreting the design and breaking it down into manageable thin layers. It's a bit like slicing a loaf of bread, but instead of bread, we're slicing a digital model into hundreds, sometimes thousands, of distinct layers. This process is known as slicing, and it's the key to how 3D printers operate. Now, with the slice design in hand, the printer gets down to the nitty-gritty of the process. It starts laying down layers of material, one on top of the other. The material used can vary, ranging from plastic to metal, to even chocolate or living cells in some advanced applications. Each layer represents a cross-section of the final object, and as they're laid down, they fuse together to form the completed design. Guess what? There's more than one way to print 3D objects. In this fascinating world of 3D printing, we have a variety of methods, each with its unique attributes and applications. Let's dive into three of the most popular types. First up, we have Fuse Deposition Modeling, or FDM for short. It's the most common type of 3D printing, and you've probably seen it in action. This method works by heating and extruding a thin filament of plastic, which is then laid down layer by layer to create the final object. The result? Durable parts that are great for prototyping or everyday use. Next on the list is Stereolithography, also known as SLA. This method takes a slightly different approach. Rather than melting plastic, SLA uses a laser to cure a liquid resin, solidifying it layer by layer. The laser is directed by a computer, which meticulously follows the design's blueprints. SLA is beloved for its high resolution and the ability to create intricate details, making it perfect for jewelry, dental models, and other finely detailed applications. Lastly, we have Selective Laser Sintering, or SLS, a method that's a bit more high-tech, Instead of liquid resin or plastic filament, SLS uses a powder material, often nylon. A laser selectively fuses this powder together layer by layer until the final object is formed. This method allows for the creation of complex geometries with a high degree of durability. It's particularly popular in industries such as aerospace and automotive, where strength and complexity are key. Each of these methods has its strengths and weaknesses, and the choice between them depends on what you need from your final product. Are you looking for durability, intricate detail, or complex geometry? Your answer will determine the best method for your 3D printing project. Three methods, countless possibilities, now that's what I call variety. Ever wondered where you might encounter 3D printed objects? Well, let's take a journey through the diverse world of 3D printing applications. You'll find that this technology has seeped into an array of sectors, making everything from intricate jewelry to robust car parts. Take healthcare for example. Surgeons are now using 3D printed models of patients' organs for practice before they make the first incision. Dentists too, are crafting 3D printed crowns and bridges with remarkable precision, ensuring a perfect fit every time. And let's not forget about prosthetics. 3D printing has revolutionized this field, creating custom-fitted affordable prosthetic limbs that are changing lives around the world. But the applications don't stop there. In the automotive industry, companies are 3D printing car parts, reducing production time and costs. 3D printing push the boundaries of what's possible. The aerospace industry is also reaping the benefits of this technology. 3D printed parts are lighter and can be made faster than traditional methods, reducing costs and improving efficiency. 
spacecraft and satellites are now being fitted with 3D printed components. But what about everyday items? You'd be surprised at how many things around you could be 3D printed. From clothing and footwear to kitchen utensils and furniture, the possibilities are endless. And with the rise of 3D printing services, even if you don't own a 3D printer, you can still design and create your own unique items. So, whether it's creating a custom piece of jewelry, manufacturing an aerospace component, or printing a replacement part for your dishwasher, 3D printing is proving to be a versatile and valuable tool. One day you might even find yourself living in a 3D printed house. Yes, you heard right. Companies are already experimenting with 3D printing entire buildings. From the car you drive to the teeth in your mouth, 3D printing has an extensive reach. It's a technology that's not just shaping our future but is already making a significant impact on our present. Like every coin has two sides, 3D printing has its pros and cons. Let's dive in to explore the advantages first. The beauty of 3D printing lies in its ability to transform a digital design into a physical object, opening up a whole new world of customization. You want a coffee mug shaped like a unicorn? No problem. A phone case with your name on it? Easy peasy. It's all possible with 3D printing. Then, there's the speed. Traditional manufacturing methods often involve multiple steps and different tools. But with 3D printing, you can go from design to finished product in a matter of hours. This can be a game changer, especially for businesses that need to respond quickly to market changes. And let's not forget about cost effectiveness. 3D printing allows for less waste and fewer materials used, since you're only adding material where you need it. Plus the need for expensive molds or tools is eliminated, making it a more affordable option for small-scale production or prototyping. But hold your horses, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, there are some downsides to consider. For starters, 3D printing is currently limited to certain materials. While it's true that the variety is growing, we're still far from being able to print anything in any material we want. Moreover, 3D printing is not always the most efficient option for large-scale production. Traditional methods like injection molding can be faster and more cost-effective when producing items in bulk. And there's a more sinister side too. With the power to create anything comes the potential for misuse. From untraceable firearms to intellectual property theft, there are legitimate concerns about how 3D printing can be exploited. So, there you have it. A technology teeming with potential, yet not without its challenges. 3D printing can revolutionize the way we create and consume products, but like any powerful tool, it needs to be used responsibly and thoughtfully. Weigh the pros and cons, and you'll find that 3D printing holds immense potential despite its challenges. So, should we be excited about 3D printing? Absolutely. Let's briefly recap. 3D printing is a remarkable technology that creates three-dimensional objects from a digital file, layer by layer. We've explored different types of 3D printing, from fused deposition modeling to selective laser sintering, each with its unique capabilities. The applications of 3D printing are vast and growing, spanning from prototyping in industries to creating personalized jewelry and even medical implants. But like all things, it's not without its challenges. We've considered the pros, such as customization and waste reduction, and the cons, like potential copyright issues and the current high cost. But remember, the future of 3D printing looks bright, and it's only going to get more exciting from here. That's it for today's journey into the world of 3D printing. If you found this video enlightening, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe for more intriguing content. Let us know your thoughts on 3D printing in the comment below. Thank you for watching, until next time.